The 6.5 is on the road at Lenovo Tech World, and we are here at the iconic Sphere at Las Vegas. Daniel, people are starting to come in for the big show here, and we're having fun doing the pregame. It's been fun doing the pregame. It's been, you know, a little quiet. You know, you and I have done the Sphere a handful of times yes. now. Not sure we've done an event as big as the one here today at Lenovo Tech. Well, inside the Sphere, yes. Yes, and but it's been a little almost eerily quiet while we've been in here pre-gaming. Yes. Uh, no more. I know. The action is coming. I, I saw some images of lines around the corner to get into this place because pretty much the who's who of technology. The last two years, biggest keynote speakers uh, of CES are, are going to be speaking here, but you got a laundry list of the world's most important technology CEOs yes. coming here to talk. Um, what are we talking about? Devices? No, we're going to talk a little bit about devices, but it's going to be talking about AI, right? That's we're talking right. about AI. Well, Daniel, the experience, I've been coming to CES for here in Las Vegas for close to, I don't know, 25 years. And it used to be you'd get on a stage and, you know, you would talk and people would clap and you'd bring up new stuff up, put some Harvard graphics up there. But now this is the age of experience, right? Yeah. And the Sphere, the Sphere really epitomizes this. And Lenovo is integral to the Sphere experience, not just today, uh, uh, but beyond. And we brought here Dana from Lenovo to talk about how Lenovo is turning, you know, what used to be a flat experience into this 360 degree extravaganza. It's amazing. Dana, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. Excited to be here. It's awesome, isn't it? Well, I can't believe you have time to come and sit with us as everybody's coming in and talk about this. Now, are you nervous? A little nervous about this? Nervous about today's event? Yes. No, man, we've been planning this for so long. We're super excited. Yeah. The partnership with Entertainment Sphere is amazing. So we're, we're just super pumped. Yeah. But there's a big choice to do this, right? I mean, it was a big decision. Like Pat said, you know, you rent a big space. Vegas is full of them. Yeah. You know, you bring all your customers in. They'll come. You know, you're Lenovo. Um, but you said, no, 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 not enough. Like we saw some other people do something. We got to go bigger. You know, they did a two hour thing in the sphere. We're going to do an eight hour thing. No, I'm kidding. But like, like you guys made that commit. Like we're going big. You're like, what was so compelling about trying to push? Cause, cause like there's a little one upsmanship coming on here, right? I mean, some, yeah. what was the compelling factor to do this? I think the compelling event is that Entertainment Sphere is our customer and our partner. And so they're leveraging our technology, which is awesome. So we're just honored to be, uh, honored to be a part of it and showcase real customer use cases at a live event at our tech world at CES, which is awesome. Well, real quickly, you said they're your customer. So like this, this place just Flooded with Lenovo stuff? Yes, I mean, look around. <laughs> everything around, everything around, all right. Look around, look around, yeah. Not just the demo. There, no, 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 yeah. yeah, definitely leveraging leveraging our technology for everything that you're seeing on stage. And so it's, it's exciting times. So delivering this type of experience, I think I've heard you refer to it as immersion at scale, or maybe that was your partner here, uh, takes a lot of not only creative vision, right? I mean, uh, Daniel and I were here for the kicked off on Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Uh, it was absolutely uh, stunning seeing the technology uh, that went into that and all of the creativity, but also um, its operational execution, right? Things have to be reliable. Things have to work. I mean, the amount of displays alone, making sure that those work, moving the data uh, around and doing all that AI processing. Now, I'm sure everything didn't always go perfect. Like what are some of the challenges doing that in an environment like this? I, I think when you have a, a customer that has a vision and they're wanting to execute on that a vision, the important thing is being able to pivot through the partnership, right? And so as we're working through the different technical solutions and what the customer needs to provide, right. like you talked about the massive amounts of data and visual content and the rendering and everything, like. Yes. So you need to be able to test and have that level of performance yes. and reliability that you mentioned, but also being able to pivot. And I think that's the one thing that I love about Lenovo and our partnership with Entertainment Sphere is we really drive our strategy based on the outcomes that customers want and their vision. So um, not only have we pivoted throughout the, the project, we'll continue to because the vision yeah. changes, right? As we innovate, as, as the sphere expands and grows. Well, technology is hard enough on its own and yeah. you add entertainment to that, like movies, uh, you can go to post-production, 
but you have thousands of people here at one time and you've got to pull it off not only in a 16 by nine format uh, that's static, you can replay again, but it's real time and it's in the sphere dynamic app. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible, it's yeah. incredible. Yeah, the, the reliability is a, a key factor in all of this. You're in a real live show, right? So you yes. need to be able to be reactive and make sure that everything's working and, and you're, they're getting the level of performance that's desired. For sure, but I mean, in the end, I'm sure all the you know the kind of companies that came to Entertainment Sphere and pitched them, yeah. very capable companies. Yeah. So, what was the you know you're the recipe? You're, 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 you're the, I mean, you you know when you're not busy selling Entertainment yeah. Sphere, you're selling. A, you have a large sales capacity at yeah. Lenovo. Like, yeah. what won the deal for you? Yeah, if if I think about like the areas of of why. The Sphere chose Lenovo and why our customers choose Lenovo really comes down to performance, which yeah. we've talked about. Having that consistent level of performance, the reliability, and then really the partnership, right? The ability to create the right solutions for them. And then having the, the depth and, and breadth of the technology from our, our, our awesome Moto phones. And, and so from the AI and our, and our phones, our AI PCs, all the way through the infrastructure, that really is the depth and breadth of the technology that we offer. And then our services and solutions. So the ability to be able to install, to do managed services, and then consumption-based modeling too. A lot of customers are looking at that for financial flexibility yeah. as well. So Dana, you know, we're industry analysts and we look at you know, different markets and the macro view. This is really cool. Yeah. And, and I'm impressed with the tech that must have gone in here. Yeah. The question is, how do those attributes and technology translate to the bigger markets here in, in North America? What does this mean to other North American customers and why should they care? It's all workload, right? So when you think about it, the, the Sphere is running a workload. All of our industry customers, whether you're in manufacturing and doing digital twins, whether you're in healthcare imaging, it's all about workload, reliability, performance, consistency, and that's why Lenovo, right? Yes, no, it makes and sense. And having the depth and breadth of the portfolio is, is key. That makes sense. Yeah. You guys have a big mission here. Um, Lenovo in the pockets of so many people around the world and, and on the desks even more so, right? Like here I am, you know? By the way, this is mine, everybody. Like every day I get up, I use this machine. Love it, love yeah, it. Yeah, and, and so you're, you've made big inroads, infrastructure, services. Oh. The company's changed and I think now like half the revenue yeah. is like not, but that's not necessarily like, that's, I think, and I've talked many times to different parts of people in Lenovo, like, they want to be known more for it. Yeah. And AI is a big moment to make all these changes. Like, how are you sort of using this moment to see it help the bigger AI story, which goes well beyond devices? Devices are an enabler for sure, but like, Absolutely. it's got to be so much bigger than that. This is a perfect showcase of what AI and the enterprise is, right? So we're seeing a lot of massive demand and compute for the cloud players and Neo Cloud, but this is a real life yeah. example of AI and enterprise, AI at the edge, having de delivering uh, the latency that this needed to have this high performance show here, right? So that that's it. Really, is the differentiation? Yeah. Are there any um, are there any details you can share on, or are those top secret on? You know, the amount of data, the amount of servers, the amount of client <laughs> devices, and and edge devices. I mean, like that we can go roar on. I'm not sure if I'm able to talk about the exact solution right. <laughs> or how much, but yeah, we, we partner a lot with, um, obviously Entertainment Sphere of a part of Madison Square Garden Group, so we do a, a lot with um, MSG as well. Okay, and it's cr is it cross-platform? Meaning uh, multiple, clients, multiple, multiple, edge, multiple and services, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. no, that's yeah. exciting. So, I mean, it really is an exciting time for Lenovo when you think about the, the depth and breadth of the technology, but then also a, a key thing that we're doing that I believe is a differentiator for us is working through and creating reference architectures with ISVs as well. So there's all these AI ISVs popping yeah. up, right? And you have customers that they don't have a lot more resources to be able to do this investigation. And so partnering with a company like Lenovo allows them to work with us. We'll do the validation, we'll do the reference architecture and work with them so they can replicate it in their environment. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. So Dana, for everyone out there watching, what can tell them exactly what they're going to see? I'm kidding. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. There's a lot of, uh, we're having a lot of, um, awesome speakers today, and it's gonna highlight many of our partnerships uh, across the company, um, as well as some entertainment that's gonna be fun as well. You know, Dana looks way too calm uh, that we're about, what are we? We're about an hour and 10 minutes before the big show starts, and she's like, 
Like, you know, she's got her awesome. phone up here and she's having fun. Well, what's yeah. she going to do if it goes wrong? I don't know. What's that? Stay calm. I said, what are you yeah, going to do about it? You know, it's good. she's not climbing into the production booth and fixing There's it. There's so much preparation yeah. behind this. Yeah. It's going to be is she, amazing. Is your confidence in the Lenovo technology so big that this is where the confidence is coming Absolutely. from? Absolutely. All right. You Absolutely. hope so. You hope so because this kind of venue, it's got to work. It Absolutely. has to work. Well, Dana, thanks so much for joining Thank us here. Thank you. really appreciate it. Excited to have had you. I can't oh, wait to get in there. there. I know it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Super excited. And we appreciate everybody tuning in for this session. A lot going on here at the Sphere. And we hope you're going to tune in for the full keynote event. It's going to be multi hours. Stay here. Stay with us. We have a few more conversations here for the pregame. Stick with us. We'll be back soon.